Welcome into the Original Gangsters podcast, another quick hitter edition. Some huge news uh, that came out of the New York mob orbit this week. Um, And where it came out from is just as significant as the news itself. Um, So you had news break on Wednesday night of Joe Messino dying in witness protection. Uh, He actually died in in New York City, um, coming back to to spend his final days with his family, reconnecting and reconciling with with some people. Uh, Everybody that's watching this, I'm sure, knows that uh, Joe Messino was the most powerful mafia boss in America during the 1990s and early 2000s, the boss of bosses in New York, kingpin uh godfather of the bonanno crime family and had had a a role in the day-to-day affairs of that family uh going all the way back to the early 80s late 70s even you know late 79 with the assassination of uh of carmine galante um he was mentored by uh, phil rusty Rastelli was a front boss, acting boss. Uh, Rastelli died in June of 91 and Messino became the official Don. By the end of the the, the 90s, heading into 2000s, he had um, brought the Bananos back from almost the dead. They'd been kicked out, kicked out of the commission in the 80s for the Donnie Brasco fiasco, letting an undercover uh, into, the, uh, into the family and, and it disrupted a lot of things, uh, lost a lot of respect. But Messino... Uh, polished that thing up and and got it back to where they were the the real standard bearer for the New York Mafia at the last vestige of kind of the mob's glory era of of the late mid to late twentieth century, and he was you know if you want to consider uh, the the commission existing at that point and it was kind of like a makeshift commission uh, you know he was you know at the chairman of the board. And uh, then he, he flipped and became the most, the highest ranking organized crime member to ever cut a cooperation agreement with the government, enter the witness protection program, testify in open court. Uh, it all kind of began to fall apart for him uh, in the early 2000s when his brother-in-law and underboss, Salvatore, good-looking Sal Vital, uh, Vitali uh was alienated from him he was uh messina was married to his sister and then you know lost him he jumped ship um had gotten jammed up and uh uh decided to to flip on on messino became the star witness at messino's trial messino was convicted at at trial and racketeering and murder accounts in 2004 and then quickly joined Team USA, wired up against his underlings, including uh, acting boss uh, Vinnie Gorgeous Bastiano, and disappeared into the witness protection program, Uh, came out in the last couple of days that uh, been living in Ohio at the end. I had been told that he was at first uh, in Florida, then relocated to Ohio, eventually made it back to New York to reconcile with his family because he had been kind of exiled from them when he when he joined witness protection and, and left New York City. I want to go back to how this news came out. Uh, and the story was broken in surreal fashion by reputed Philadelphia mob boss Skinny Joey Merlino, who in the last couple of weeks has uh, thrown his hat into the ring in the podcast game on YouTube. A shout out to the Skinny, which is his YouTube podcast, and this is this is a huge feather in their cap. Gives them a ton of validation and credibility. Uh, and frankly, they're getting at least early on in the way this is being covered by the New York media, the East Coast media, they're not getting their 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 fair due. Um, they're being ignored 
when they broke the story. Uh, Newsday came out with this um, with this news that they were the first mainstream outlet to break it in uh, late last night, Thursday night, and uh, they source uh, Massino's daughter. Well, they wouldn't have been reaching out to Massino's daughter for comment if Merlino and his podcast partner, uh, Joe Joe Snuff, little Joe Snuff, Joe Perry, uh, if they hadn't have put that out on Wednesday. So I, I know it's unconventional, and I understand that because of what some people think of Joey Merlino, he claims that he's uh, gone straight, is out of the – out of the mob game and his days as a mob shot caller are behind him. Uh, he living down in South Florida away from his alleged mob kingdom in, in um, Philadelphia and parts of New Jersey. Uh, he, you know, he's been there for 12 years. Feds say that he runs it from afar. He says he's got nothing to do with it. Now he's kind of pro- trying to prove it by putting out this podcast, which is more of a gambling podcast than a mob podcast. But uh, he wanted to speak on uh, informants, uh, make his feelings felt on guys that had cooperated with the government. And he dropped the nugget of information that Joe Messino had died. Uh, and, and a lot of people were skeptical. Uh, it took 24 hours plus for other people to confirm it. Shout out to, to Jeff Nadu and the sit down uh, podcast. He was the first media outlet that covers organized crime on a day-to-day basis to uh, confirm the news. And then Newsday was the first mainstream outlet. Uh, but, Newsday had no mention of the fact that this information first surfaced uh, via Joey Merlino and the Skinny Podcast, and the, that's just as a, you know from a journalistic posture point of view and protocol, it's wrong. I, whatever you think of Joey, whatever you think of the medium, uh, or you know that he's a podcaster now, you know this was a huge, huge piece of news um, that you know bombshell that that he rolled out. That again, I'm saying gives a lot of credibility to what he's trying to do. You know, uh, that's a big piece of news. He scooped everybody on it. All due respect to Jerry Capace, all due respect to Larry McShane and Tony DiStefano and all those uh, great writers in New York City. The the alleged mob boss, the alleged godfather, was like uh, 10, 10 miles in front of everybody that does this for a living, including myself. I got to include myself in there. Uh, so I just think, uh, it, it's bad form and, uh, he should get acknowledged. The show should be acknowledged. Um, again, it, it's surreal that, uh, you have someone who's looked at as maybe the most iconic modern day new millennium mob boss and Joey Merlino is breaking the news of the previous generations, most iconic mob boss and Joe Messino. Uh, but. That's what happened. And that's where we are in 2023. Uh, and I've always called Joey Merlino, or not always, but the last 10 years, I've, all, I've coined the term for Joey Merlino as being the Instagram Don. And, you know, it just means that he's 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 tech savvy. He's, a, you know, he's an influencer. He was an influencer before he even knew the term influencer. Um, and, you know, he's, he has the ability to adapt pretty quickly into uh into to new you know territory and he'd only they'd only been in the podcasting game for like two weeks and breaks this huge piece of news so credit to them and I just wanted to point out that I I wasn't thrilled that that uh, Newsday didn't properly acknowledge where it came from and uh, we'll see when the other uh, news outlets in New York City start to roll out more coverage of this uh, over the weekend at New York Post New York Daily News. New York Times even, uh, and how how they uh, cover it and uh, source it. So uh, Joe Messino is dead, 80 years old, uh, lived the last 18 years in hiding under an assumed identity. Uh, you know, I don't need to tell you who Joe Messino is. People that are watching this know, you know, you know came up uh, uh, under Rusty Rastelli, uh, based out of Mass Pef, uh, Queens, was the quarterback of the infamous three capo slains that you see in the movie Donnie Brasco, uh, and then rebuilt the Bonanno crime family into a juggernaut after uh, it had fallen on hard times 
in in the in the 1980s in the aftermath of Donnie Brasco. So uh, Joe Messino dead at 80. Joey Merlino bro- breaks the news here at the OG Pod. We're always going to give credit where credit's due. So shout out to the skinny little Joe Snuff, Joey Merlino for for breaking this big piece of news. Joe Messino dead at 80 years old. I'm Scott Bernstein. See you next time at OG Pod. Thank you.